So we'll start out. You can pull this up in your browser and then we'll type in lightarchitectapp.com at the top here. It might ask you to log in. You can use the same login that you use for the app if you're already registered on the mobile app. So it'll pull up the map here and we're going to do another design just to go over it. The functionality is pretty similar to the app, but the user interface is a little bit different. So we'll go over some of those differences. So again, we can search for a location up here in the top. We'll pull this up. We're going to do this parking garage. On some map loads. All right. And now I'll zoom into this parking garage down here. All right. So in the mobile app, instead of the add fixture button, we have a, another one on the right side here. So we'll click that and it will open up our catalog. This time we're going to do a prevail fixture. So we'll go to the Lumart category and scroll down to prevail. We'll select this fixture and it'll place an icon on the screen again. So you can click and drag it into position. And then now we're going to configure this fixture. So we'll select it. And then in this case, if you want to change the anything like the tilt, the rotation, the height, you do that with this position button. So we'll press position. And we want to change the height a bit. We're going to set this down to about 15 feet at the top of this parking garage ramp here. And we can save that. We can also rotate it. So we'll point it out this direction and save that. The next thing we want to do is change the IES file again. So we'll press configure as well as the number of heads. So we'll say for this one, we want two heads and we want them to be back to back. So we'll say 180 degrees. And you can see that the icon changes as you make those changes to represent the new fixture configuration. And then to change the IES file, we click this IES files tab. This shows the currently selected IES file and we want to change that. So we'll press change and it will pull up this whole catalog of fixture of files. We'll scroll down to the bottom here. I think we're looking for 150 watts and a type 5. So we'll select this file and press save. So now we have one fixture figure configured. We can press copy after we apply these changes. And it'll add another fixture that we can drag into position. And then let's create two more copies at the bottom. So we'll drag this one as well. Now we want these to be a little bit taller because they're at the bottom of the ramp and we want them to be level with the top of the ramp fixtures. So we're going to go in here and go back into position and we're going to change the height. And for this one, we'll go up to 20 feet and we can save that. And then now we'll create a copy of this one and that'll copy over, the, over that 20 feet that we just changed. All right, now we can try to calculate and get a quick estimate of that area. And then we can also we can go back and we can draw out an area just like we can in the mobile app. So we'll tap and add some corners and draw out this whole parking garage. And then again, we can press calculate and get calculations just for this area. Now we can press share. The screenshot functionality works a little bit differently here. Um, so we need to help it understand which tab we want to take a screenshot of. So we'll select that one here and then we can say share and it'll again, it'll open up an email. It'll auto populate it with the, uh, the fixtures that you just added and then it'll include that screenshot and you can send that out. And that's it for the web app.